Now this video is brought to you by Crap Videos Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're at Brown Hills again. Uh, free we, lunch day. <laughs> free, yeah, free lunch day, yeah. As a Club Brown Hills member, you occasionally get vouchers sent to you for a free lunch. So we're going to take that one up. We're just going to have a nosy round, really. Uh, look around the shop, see if we want anything. Look around what vans are knocking about. And um, what else are we going to do? Oh, we might pop over to SMC just to see what they've got in, seeing as we're in the area. Uh, but we're back in Brown Hills in a few weeks anyway for the Strictly Come Dancing Motorhome show thing. Yeah, they, it, you see motorhomes dancing yeah, in dancing unison. dancing about and that. <laughs> Doing the waltz. Anyway, let's go and have a look about. See you in a bit. Right. Oh, quickly while I'm here, look at this. I've never seen this before. You can't go over here because this is a handover area. Look, a CV is a 40, but a Reva from 3A's Leisure. Never heard of that make before. Just thought I'd say that if you're into your CVs. I've only ever seen one in that colour. Right, so having a quick wander around, there's a lot of used stock, um, but there's a hell of a lot of motorhomes again. Not many camper vans at all. Um, there's a load of, they've gone mad on the Ford chassis now. Load over there, brand new stock, Ford, Ford everywhere. Uh, Fiat seem to be losing the war to Ford on the uh, motorhomes but yeah if we have a quick walk around here I think Heather's gonna have to go in there she she likes a bit of A-class action so I'll let her have the camera for that as everybody knows I do like the uh, <laughs> A-class you're not having one <laughs> but we did say even when we retire and it's an A-class we want to limit to seven meters this is actually 7.4 I actually quite like it. Um, doors on the wrong side. And, uh, yeah, well, that door's on the right side. <laughs> so, we'll have a look inside, it's quite nice. Rick's bedroom is here. <laughs> What's that, the dog house? No, I, he, well, I did say it was your bedroom, oh. so... <laughs> Only got the door on one side, which doesn't really matter. Um, apart from you would have to climb in. <laughs> um, it, it does have a bike rack on it, but like I say, you know, we'd be looking for one that's if it was seven meters to be able to put the uh, the bikes into the back. Just give you a bit of a, a view of the side. It's got a gas locker rather than. Underslung LPG. What gets me is you're looking at things for when you retire. We haven't even got the next one yet, and you're looking at this one. Behave yourself. <laughs> you and your A-class fetish. I can't do that with one hand. That's what she said. <laughs> we might let him in so that he can have a look. What I do like about the Fiat a class um front end is we were we were looking when we were here before and there was a, a mercedes and the problem with the mercedes is that if you if you're tall like rick and you've got to have the seat all the way back you couldn't see out the side whereas with this you can uh, but you've got lots and lots of storage we know what they're like these a classes um, There's a step there. <laughs> so it's four seat belts. Obviously four people sleeping. Possibly even five, I don't know. I don't think so, maybe. Not sure about that. Anyway. Um uh, we've got freezer and a lovely big fridge. <laughs> right kitchen area 
So we have three gas burners, your Thetford oven and grill, the sink, But there's a step there, I fell back down it. <laughs> That's the door you see with these raised floors. <laughs> but you have got a little bit of extra storage there. Yeah. Uh, and then you see this is the this is what I like. This is what I like. Look. Look at this. So you've got your nice separate shower cubicle. And then you've got this, which a lot of them have now, where you can actually completely separate off so you can get yourself dressed. Um, yes, it's a pedestal toilet, but if anybody knows me, one of the problems with the uh, um, in Pearl is that it's a high pedestal toilet because it's got the, the obviously the shower unit in loads of room in your bathroom for your knickknacks that you have to take with you another storage there and then as you know if you've seen any of these A classes there's just tons of storage like I say, I know this is obviously, you know, as I said, to start with, 7.4 metres. Like that. Um, and it's one of these that you can you can pull the bed completely out if you wanted to. And you've got the little step ladder, so you come up here. Um, but um, we probably wouldn't do that anyway. There are only really these three camper vans uh, and I've done a select 164 before on the channel there's that CV20 that's in white and then there's a, a, a leisure trekker there I'm going to do a separate video on that one um, we filmed one of these at the NEC last week although it wasn't this model but it might interest someone so we'll do that later but yeah other than that uh, there's not a great deal of stuff that I'm interested in looking at there isn't even any decent camper vans in the actual showroom believe it or not um, there's a couple of Adrias and an Adria Sun Living which I've filmed all before it's very low on camper van stock there's a lot of motorhome stock but there you go like I say these auto trails them they're, they're flying out everywhere they are the other thing it has to be said that we've noticed recently as well is that um motorhomes if you if your budget is tighter <laughs> yeah you can certainly get a motorhome cheaper than a camper van yeah. Yeah, these days so they have yeah but anyway i'm not going to show them sorry if you like them but just really showing you how many there are we will have a quick flick round in there but we're just gonna have a good good look around the shop usually when we come we've got Poppy with us and we've left her at home so we're gonna have a look around the shop the pair of us together and then like I say we'll go in the cafe and have some lunch yeah so it's a lovely little shop at Brown Hills there's always plenty of stuff that we want um, but again being a Brown Hills member if we wait till the Strictly weekend you get is it you get another 10 percent off yeah we get another 10 percent off on the strictly weekend so we shan't be buying anything today we'll wait for a couple of weeks good selection of chairs and little shelters we should have a look talking out loud now to see if they've got any duvalet covers i think they're over here anyway the shocking news is they haven't got any duvalet covers Looks well, like whenever I've been on their website, they don't. Yeah. They don't advertise the covers. No, Amazon job. Yeah. So as we were saying, not many camper vans in. There are these two old faithfuls, the the two Adrias. Just uh, had a quick chat with go on. one of the uh, sales guys about the Carrera, the the Swift Carrera. He says they they 
being sold before they're even coming in. Yeah, right. and we were right. We should have had a look at the one last week um, at the show, but we thought it would be here, but it turns out they borrowed that from Swift just for the show. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to get to see a Carrera, unfortunately. As I say, we, we filmed the Sun Living V65 SL. There is a video on the channel of this van, although this is a brand new one. These are made by Adria, you can see. Fair size beds in the back. I think these just about get the um, the length of the bed and you get a little dinette, but the problem with these is, as with any of the Adria, they're a lovely van, but for us, the door is on the wrong side. We can't actually have a van like this on our drive and get to the door it's well we can but it's just awkward so we do need a uk van if you're believing all the scaremonger stories on the internet about not being able to get lpg by the way you can come to brownells and buy it from them exactly the same as a forecourt it's slightly more expensive one pound 20 one pound 20 a litre <laughs> but that said it's still cheaper than um you know your color gas bottles but yeah I think this is the way it's going to go, you know, I'm not going to mention any names on the uh, YouTube circuit, but people are scaremongering about the lack of LPG. Don't believe them. Well, I, I still think you're going to get scarcer, but I think what's going to happen is more dealerships are going to sell it, maybe even campsites will sell it. When 70-80% when of vans now have an under, un, underslung tank... It, yeah, they've got, there's got to be a way of getting it, I think. <laughs> It's just going to, like anything, harder to find and more expensive, but I don't think they're ever not going to have it. Anyway, enough of that. Don't want to cause any fallouts either. That's just my, my, my opinion is you can buy it from dealerships. They are not going to sell vans with no gas. There you go. I've got steak and ale pie, chips and beans. Put a bit of mayo on mine. Yeah, there's got sausage roll, chips and beans. So, yeah, there you go. I'm going to tuck into that. Right, little change of plan. Um, as Heather said, we're here in a few weeks at the Strictly thing. So rather than going to SMC now, we can walk there in a couple of weeks for something to do, really. So because we're in the car, we're going to have a quick toot over to Loudoms, where we originally bought our motorhome from years ago. Mm -hmm just to see what they've got in really. Oh, so we're at Loudoms now. What I can tell you is already, there are motorhomes everywhere, but not a lot of fans. Um, these are all sold this end. Certainly seems to me why camper vans are fetching so much money at the minute. Um, there's just none about. Seems to be motorhomes galore being built, but not many vans at all. Yeah. yeah, we had our Shousen from here many moons ago. There's a that nice that nice posh Heimer in there. I'll have a look at that. But yeah, if you want yourself a motorhome, get down Loudoms by the looks of it. Yeah, that's a beauty that Heimer Venture S. Yeah, you even get your little deck on the back to sit on. Look, what do you think of that? Can we have one? Yeah, it's nice, but I don't like the silly roof, no. But I like the height of it and the uh, the wheels and stuff. But yeah, that's a monster, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, there's only a couple of camper vans here, really. We've got a uh, Auto Trail V-Line 636. How old this one is? Does it say 18? And it's 56 grand. I think this is the, um, yeah, this is the dinette version anyway. So, sleep a crosswoods job. And there you go. Mmm. And a tribute. Quite an old one, that is. 17. And then loads of Volkswagen campers. But, uh, not a lot else. Right then, 
That was us at Brownhills and at Lydums. Not really much to show you there, unfortunately. Um, but again, not every weekend for us is out in a van, luckily. If you wanted to see a motorhome, there's plenty of motorhomes. Yeah, there. there's loads, isn't there? Not many camper vans about, as I say. But yeah, luckily now we're towards the end of the winter. Um, we're filming this on March the 3rd, 4th. Um, so we're pretty much going back to camping most weekends now, luckily. Um, Although our next weekend, we don't know what we're doing next Yeah, we don't know now. what we're doing next weekend. The weather looks rubbish, but we're going to go somewhere. We're going to do something. Um, yeah, well, the DA's been cancelled. Yeah, we were going on a DA. And it's got cancelled so we've got to find something else but like i say we're now getting back to going back out in the van a bit more um we've been a bit preoccupied with looking for new vans and um, we're pretty much sorted on that now um so yeah it really is just a case of getting back to normal isn't it getting out there mm -hmm. and then we can stop filming these boring videos where we're in the car doing something although we are doing something campery you know, so it's not campery. too bad. Campery. Is that like Campari? Well, it's, no, it's the campaign for real videos featuring Ricky is what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, time to go back to that crazy dog that we've left in the house. Yeah, see what state um, she's in. Again, thank you for watching if you have. And uh, we'll be back to normal soon. Don't forget, as we always say now. Normal. Norm, well, normal. <laughs> We've got a Facebook page, Facebook group, I should say. Um, join that if you want to hear up-to-date stuff. As we say on most videos now, I'm going to try and make this my ritual. These are filmed about three or four weeks before you see them. Um, whereas on the Facebook group, you know on the day what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Yeah. They can't be videoed three or four weeks after. After? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm not... They're always going to be videoed before you see them. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm, you, this you, is not a DeLorean. Years ago, I would be bothered about saying stuff like that and I'd re record the whole thing. I'm not going to bother anymore. I just do what I do now. Um, yeah, so, like I say, you'll be watching this in the future. See you later. Maybe it is a DeLorean. No, it's a Kia. See you later. Bye bye bye. Bye 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 bye. bye, bye.